Hey everyone, and welcome to Cooking Companion TV. I'm Jenna Edwards, and this is a recipe demo of tomato tapenade tart from the Borough Market Cookbook. Give this video a thumbs up if you like it. If you're watching this, tomatoes are probably in their peak season, and this is a gorgeous and unique presentation with some typical summer ingredients. The only downside here is having to turn on your oven. Regardless, let's get started. First, we need to slice our tomatoes into quarter inch slices or no more than five millimeters. You do not wanna go thicker than what you see me doing. You also don't want too thin, but next time I do this, I'll go a couple millimeters thinner. All in all, you need seven to 800 grams of heirloom or heritage tomatoes, and a variety of colors is nice too. Then spread out the slices in a single layer on a platter or even over a wire rack and sprinkle them with a few good healthy pinches of flaky sea salt or kosher salt as I'm doing here to draw out the juices of the tomatoes. This is an integral part to keeping the tart from getting soggy. Now leave this for at least 15 minutes. Now we'll take some Belper canole cheese, which can only be found in London's Borough Market as far as I know. So you'll need to use Pecorino cheese if you aren't in London or if you don't find a kindred foodie to smuggle it to you. Belper canole is a hard Swiss cheese that's cow's milk infused with salt and garlic and then rolled in ground black pepper and then dried. And you usually just shave it over whatever you're using it in. I particularly like it as the main star in a basic risotto. Anyhow, you're shaving a quarter of a Belper canole ball or maybe two to three tablespoons of whatever other cheese you're using. And then we'll separate the shavings into two groups. The better looking ones, however you decide what that is, will get sprinkled on top. Now measure out 90 grams of creme fraiche and 60 grams of olive tapenade, which is crushed olives mixed with herbs and spices. And now sprinkle in the sorry half of your cheese shavings and stir it all together until it's combined well. Now you'll need puff pastry, which is not the same as phyllo dough, FYI. So take a minute to make sure your pastry is solid and, and even on those lines where it's been folded. And we'll take the blunt edge of a knife to score the dough about an inch from the edge. And for some reason, this is very relaxing for me. Now scoring just means you're making a very light line, you're not cutting it. Now spoon on the tapenade, the cheese, and creme fraiche mixture, and spread it thinly and evenly up to your border. All right, let's add our tomato slices. Put the thickest slices at the edges and corners and your thinnest slices in the middle. Again, this is a strategy to keep it from getting soggy. And if you've got different colors, definitely spread them out too. The slices will definitely overlap and that makes it oh so pretty. Now season with fresh ground pepper and place it on the top shelf of the oven for 15 minutes, heated to 200 degrees Celsius or 425 degrees Fahrenheit. After 15 minutes, reduce the temperature to 180 degrees Celsius or 400 Fahrenheit for another 15 minutes. And by now the pastry edge will be puffed up and golden and the tomatoes are soft and beginning to dry out. Once it's out of the oven, drizzle with olive oil and scatter with basil leaves if you like and finish by sprinkling the better half of those cheese shavings on top. Now allow it to cool for 10 minutes and serve. This is a complete meal with a crisp romaine or endive salad with maybe a sharp mustard vinaigrette. All right, y'all, the ingredient list is below or at cookingcompaniontv.com slash tomato tart. Give this video a thumbs up if you like it and subscribe to this channel for more demos just like this. I'm Jenna Edwards and thanks for watching.